Hey, how's it going, YouTube? How y'all doing today? I had a uh, eventful morning. Uh, well, last night I figured uh, today what I would do is let these cattle uh, uh, let, let these cattle up front. I uh, put the leftover put leftover alfalfa. I have about uh, three days worth of alfalfa. I put that in storage. Then I figured this morning I would uh, let these cattle up front to graze for forage instead of giving them alfalfa. So I, my big plan was I would let them uh, graze up front from uh, 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Then I would give them grain to get them go uh, go back again, to get them to go back again. My uh, th This field that I have is uh, separated into a... Uh, a seven uh, acre field and then a three acre field so this morning at 5 a.m i went over to my tractor barn at about 5 30 i had my cup of coffee then i went over to my tractor barn uh to to well well okay so i have some lights on in my tractor barn i have some lights on them that uh lets me see uh, I, I also store hay over there, like my corn stover, my one bale of corn stover that I have left over. I uh, stored it over there. So uh, I was, I got all uh, good to go. Then I let these cattle up front. Then of course, well, I should have seen this coming. It's just, uh, yep, uh, it's just a. Uh, a little uh something that happened just because i, I changed things up so th there was bound to be a little bit of a uh a uh carbuncle i guess something like that so of course these cattle go running uh so uh cattle behavior like i know that uh well cattle they uh they they like being able to see if it's real dark they hardly move if it's real dark, they'll just kind of uh, stand around. So it was real dark when I got out here, when I got over here this morning. There was a light on in my tractor barn. There was a corn stover bale over there. So of course, as soon as I opened that gate, these uh, cattle just ran straight towards that corn stover. They just went straight for it. I tried to get them off of it. I, uh, I, uh, yeah, I uh, got a bucket of uh, some grain. I I uh, got them to follow me for about uh, 30 seconds, and I just poured it on the ground to see if they would. Uh, I need to get some more ampile medic or ampile uh, uh, whatever it is. I hear the ampile uh, killer stuff. I need to start pouring some of that stuff out again. Uh, I'll need to go around uh, put some of that on this field, just wherever there are ampiles. But yep. So I went over there. Well, of course, so they, they, they went straight for that uh, that uh, corn stover bale. I was, I, I did everything I could. I tried to just push them off of it. I tried to get them to, well, I got some grain. I poured it on the ground away from the corn stover. They just kept running straight for back for that corn stover, corn stover, so. They were pulling it apart so badly, I figured that if, uh, well, so there it is over there now. Um, I had to, uh, eventually what happened was, uh, I just got on my tractor, then I took it over there because they were going to pull it apart so badly. If they pulled it apart to a certain point, that, that bell would fall apart if I tried to pick it up. So it was a, uh, I also had to get it away from them because they were so fixated on that corn stover that they were just like, they just kept going back and forth. There's all this grass everywhere, but then, but there was zero way for them to see. They, they, the only thing they could see was inside the tractor barn. So, yep, that was a, uh, that was a, uh, yeah. It's just it, it, it ain't anybody's fault or anything like that. It's just that's just cattle behavior. That's just something that happened because. Well, yeah, I changed things up this morning. Had a little bit of a had a little bit of a, a bumpy ride, but it's okay. I got it figured out. Instead of grazing these cattle, so my my big idea was uh, ampiles, ampiles. 
my big idea was I would let these cattle graze up front for two hours a day. Then I would just let them graze in, in, uh, in back pasture for the rest of the day. So instead of uh, grazing them up front in the morning, I'll graze them up front in the evening uh, before uh, they get their dinner. So I'll graze them up front at about uh, 5 o'clock instead of grazing them uh, at 5 p.m. instead of 5 a.m. Because if if they uh yep if it, if it's too dark they'll uh, they'll just stand around so they 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 will have zero idea what's going on they have zero uh, desire to graze or anything like that uh, yep so got ch I'm changing things up a little bit but it's okay we I got through it I'll just have to uh, pull that corn stover bell apart in their barn cattle are on grass up in this front pasture this front pasture is doing good uh, they are definitely uh, eating it so I'm starting to see these cattle swell up a bit too cattle are starting to swell up a little bit so that's a good sign when they get to eat grass uh, for free or when they get to eat grass uh, for free choice uh, free choice grass they just get to eat as much as, uh, as of it as they want they swell up like this they swell up real good they get a hay belly some people call it pasture belly or hay belly or grass belly all sorts of names for it but they'll start swelling up so that's a good sign yesterday uh, I'm trying to find the animal that did it but yesterday I had uh, these animals. They, uh, they, they. I guess they, uh, they hit my fence just right. That it uh, knocked the uh, the lock loose. So uh, they uh, got up front. So I took them all back again. Uh, back to my uh, my back half of my pasture. Uh, then I left a few uh, cattle up front just because I was going to see if they would hang out with Slowpoke. But while they were up front, I have a. Uh, I have one of my animals that was up front was a uh, is a, is a little bottle cap that I raised. So he's a 3.5 weight right now. I let, I put feed in a barrel. So uh, or excuse me, I put feed in a bucket for him. Then I just put it out in front of him. So uh, he just sat there eating. I kept a uh, track of how much he ate just to see, like if if I gave these animals free choice food if I just gave them as much as they would possibly want to eat how much would they eat he probably ate closer to three to four percent of his body weight than two percent so I'm, I'm, I feed a little bit over two percent of their body weight a day I believe in uh well it's called limit feeding uh but it's it, it I, I watched like a presentation on it it's supposed to, well, it increases uh, feed efficiency. So it increases the amount of a uh, pound gained per pound of feed fed. So I was limit feed, I, I limit feed these cattle. Well, I just gave him as much food as he wanted to eat. And I just sat there, I watched him. He probably ate closer to three to 4% of his body weight in food. That's also including that he ate about just over one percent of his body weight for breakfast that morning too. So he 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 uh, oh I mean if I continued to feed him like that, would he would he eat like that constantly? I I doubt it. He ate a lot of food, but if like if I tried to do that for him again today, then again tomorrow, then again day after that, I would think that he would slow down eating. But yeah. He he ate he ate a, a good lot a good bit of uh, food he ate a lot of food so these animals are uh, are grazing yeah I uh, learned my uh, well I I, I I gotta change things up a little bit because this morning that was a uh, yep that was a, a an interesting couple of hours. It was hard on these animals too. I was trying to, I was pushing them around, trying to get them off of that corn stover because I don't want them eating that corn stover. There was so much grass everywhere. I was trying to push them around. I was trying to get them off of that corn stover. I even resorted to dumping feed on the ground to get them away from it. And 
ground is still muddy my tractor was getting stuck oh man it was an interesting morning but it's okay i gotta figure it out just gonna uh raise these cattle in the uh up front in the evening then uh let them uh stay uh on the back pasture in the morning it's okay it's a simple solution it's just uh yep change things up this morning hit a few bumps that's all it was cattle are grazing cattle are grazing cattle are grazing it's good i need to put them on grass for uh for forage because if i have to feed them forage as well as grain it just costs so much money this grass was all planted last year I've done zero to this grass since uh, since uh, October of last year. So this is all stuff that I planted last year. I believe that it cost me uh, well. So when this field was first, um, when I first uh, was working this field, it was a uh, there was a lot of weeds on it, a lot of weeds coming up again. But to get this uh, rye grass planted, I had to herbicide it twice. I herbicided it. Uh, with uh, Duracore twice. I covered every square inch of this field in herbicide. And then uh, I, uh, then I, uh, I fertilized it, then I uh, broadcasted seed on it. So it ended up costing me a little bit more money than it, it should have just because of that herbicide. Uh, yeah, it costed me about $135 an acre to do everything. This, uh, this, this warm season, though, Sudan grass has a natural tendency to, to, to shade. Uh, Sudan grass kind of grows like corn. It's a, it's a real, real, real big grass. So it'll, um, if, I, uh, if I till this ground up real good, then I, uh, then I drill that seed improperly if i drill it thick it'll uh block these uh these weeds from getting any sunlight so it, I, I have zero need for herbicides so that'll save me a little bit of money herbicide costs so uh, maybe a uh, eight nine ten dollars an acre right now so that'll save me some money yep all i have to do is uh drill seed then that Sudan grass will grow in. Uh, it grows in like corn. It's a real big grass, so it'll shade out these uh, these weeds. So with uh, zero sunlight, these uh, yeah, these oh these cattle just now found this grain that I had thrown on the ground. <laughs> these cattle just found it. Uh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> oh man. So I was like, what are they doing? <laughs> I was like, this must be the best patch of grass ever, but it's green. Yep, so starting today, I got a few uh, days. Uh, I got three days of alfalfa in storage. I figured it, I'm just going to keep it in storage just as a, uh, well, just to, to, in case of emergency, I suppose, just have it in storage. Who knows? I may need a couple days of forage later on. These cattle have access to grass. They're swelling. They're obviously swelling. Like they're obviously putting on uh, that that grass belly. They got big old bellies on them right now. So I'm just gonna hold on to that forage and then uh, put these cattle on grass starting today. Then starting tomorrow, I'll uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna let them up front in the evening, then I'll leave them out back in the. Uh, in the morning time so it's easier on them it's easier on me too because that was a, a yeah it was a it was a yeah so. yeah fertilizer costs are down too so when i uh plant this grass again yeah save some money this year you know, it, it ain't about saving money it's about everything's just a little cheaper so that'll be good all right, that's it for me today, YouTube. Y'all have a good one.